Hey, it's Jared Merlin, and I'm going to show you a preview of a video game I've been playing for years. Um, it was actually a game that I really didn't care for too much when it first came out. I had heard about it, I saw the trailer, and it really didn't grab me until I actually I got the gift of the game as a gift, and I started playing it, and I absolutely fell in love with it. Uh, this is called Destroy All, Destroy All Humans. Now, this is actually the remake, the 2020 version. Um... It's different from the original. The graphics more updated. The storylines. Uh, there's more weapons. And the only thing I didn't like about this one was that they took the cheats off. Um, the first one, when it came out, there were cheats. Now, I played the game from beginning to end. But after I finished it, I went back and played the cheats. And it just it made the, the game more enjoyable for me. But when they did the re-release, there, there were no cheats. So... And I still haven't finished it, believe it or not. My Xbox died before I got a chance to finish it, so. But I just want to, you know, play this trailer for you. There's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And Put this is one in. of those times. I take your point. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Lonesome little planet. The human military industrial complex. Exterminate them! Now! Charge! Crypto, I hereby give you official permission to destroy all humans! Crypto, my radar shows more the most difficult level was the last Hurry to the saucer! Against Robo Press. The first communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland. And they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. I will not rest until we find the perpetrators of the fairground carnage and uh, bring him to justice. The generic version of what you did. What a bunch of losers. Minds like mud. This planet is easy pickings. And I remember when I played this, I thought Dirty this one was like the biggest villain until I saw Robo Prince. Let's get funky. The humans are making a final push. Wipe them out once and for all. There he is, Robo Prince. Destroy all heroes. Is seriously messed up. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this. Like I said, the graphics were updated on this big time, and um. His spacesuit, too, because the first spacesuit was nothing like this one, actually. And his weapons were updated as well. They really did a lot of work on this, a really a lot of good work on it. And um, I do suggest getting this. I mean, I don't know if you could still get the old game. I would tell you to get that only because of the cheat codes. But um, I don't know. I just really love this game. I actually also have um, Destroy All Humans 2, which is all right. It wasn't all that great. Um, but the one that I really loved was the third one, was Destroy All Humans, Path of the Furon. That game was fantastic because, I mean, the graphics, the weapons, everything was so different. You got to play on the moon. Oh, my God, it was awesome. So, yeah, you want a game to play, dude, check this one out. I think you'll like it. 